Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to make a quick video on the intercooler system. I've had a few questions about it, so I'm going to explain basically its purpose and how it's routed on this car, which is a 2004 SVT Cobra. If you have an intercooler on your car and it's different than the Mustangs, uh, it might be set up a little differently, but they all function kind of the same. So uh, basically, the easiest way to put it is uh, to compare it to the car's radiator system. Uh, it's, I think a lot of people understand the radiator system on a car. Uh, you have the radiator here behind the grill, and you have coolant going through it. And so as you're driving, uh, the car uh, has a whole bunch of air going through the grill, and it cools the coolant as it passes through the radiator. And on the back side of the radiator, you even have um, some fans that help extract uh, some air through it to help cool it down. And so the radiator system on the car, of course, is meant to cool the engine. Well, uh, when you add a supercharger or a turbocharger to the car, um, what you're doing is um, also creating a lot of heat um, as the air is compressed. Anytime you compress air, whether it's through a supercharger or a turbocharger, the air gets hot. And so uh, the problem with that is you'll lose horsepower and the car will also need to pull ignition timing in order to um, not uh, be feeding the car too much hot air because uh, hot air is um, kind of one of the enemies to the, the fuel system as well where if it's too hot it'll be more likely that the car could have some uh, detonation or have the fuel pre-ignite um, before it's supposed to if it gets too hot. So um, basically the more dense the air is and the more cold the air is the more horsepower you're going to make. So. Uh, it's very common on supercharged cars to add a intercooler system and the 0304 Cobras came with them factory but uh, you'll see on supercharger kits that you can buy sometimes they offer them uh, separately and sometimes uh, they don't and if you have the intercooler you have a big advantage as it cools the air down. So basically um, you have your radiator up there in the front grill and on this car you have the intercooler right there where it says Cobra. That's a second radiator and it's um, entirely for the supercharger system. Uh, so basically you have the air that goes and passes through that uh, second radiator down there. They call that an intercooler often. And um, it will cool down the coolant that's flowing through the supercharger system. So on this car for example, uh, after it passes through that front radiator heat exchanger, then that line will go right here and go underneath the supercharger into another radiator that sits underneath the supercharger. So now you have coolant under the supercharger so as it's spinning and compressing that hot air now that hot air is passing through a radiator just like in the front before it goes down into the intake manifold and into, and into the engine. Uh, then that hot air will come back or that hot uh, coolant will then circulate back out and into this expansion tank. Uh, after it's in the expansion tank, it will go back down and uh, through a pump. Uh, on a car, you usually have uh, a water pump that's turning the coolant for the engine. So on these cars, it's an electrical pump that's located in the fender. And so it will draw that uh, coolant back down into the front intercooler or the radiator and the process starts over. Now that uh, now you have air that can go through and cool that and uh, it starts back over then that coolant will go back up and underneath the supercharger and uh, you know extract a lot of the heat that's going through the uh, through the supercharger and come back in the expansion tank. So it's its own independent system that uh, is not part of the engine system itself. Sorry about that, I have a lot of kids riding the motorcycles around. But uh, anyway, um, people have a lot of questions about that because by looks you have coolant in this expansion tank and you have coolant in the car's radiator system. But they're actually two separate systems that are not connected. So anyway, just wanted to make a quick video on that and uh, just reiterate that uh, the colder the air is, the more horsepower you're going to make and the more dense it's going to be. And uh, 
Basically the hot air is going to lead the car to have to pull some ignition timing and produce less horsepower. So if you're adding the supercharger kit to your car, it's very important to look into the options for intercooling. And on some supercharger kits, they'll just claim that it doesn't need one uh, because it's an efficient supercharger. And um, that may be true, but if you do have the option to intercool uh, the system as well, then I would highly recommend it. Anyway, if you have any other questions about it or any comments that you want to add, go ahead and put them in the comments section. And thanks for watching.